I'm halfway through my mission to bring back the 1986 cast of Grange Hill for a one-off performance of the anti-drugs classic, Just Say No. So far, I've Lee McDonald and Urkan Mustafa. Maluki looks like a no. But there are three characters I still really want to get. Faye Lucas, Ziggy Greaves, and Robbie Wright. Okay, we're opposite uh, John Alford's place of work. John Alford, AKA Robbie Wright from Grange Hill. I'm gonna go over there. I don't even know if he's in there, to be honest, but I'm gonna go over on the off chats that he might be working today. Let's go. John Alford is no stranger to controversy. You always get me into trouble. He played prankster Robbie Wright in Grange Hill and went on to have a hugely successful acting and singing career. But it all went wrong in 1999 when he was caught up in a news of the world drug sting. Little Robbie Wright served nine months at Her Majesty's pleasure. If I can persuade John to come on board, maybe he'll tell me what went on at the White House and I'll have a top class chanteur for the gig. Uh, my name is Justin Lee Collins, I'm here to see John Alford. Yeah, thanks very much, thank you. She's putting an announcement out, the receptionist is putting an announcement out on the loudspeaker. Is he not in the office today, or...? Oh, really? Oh, crumbs. Missed him by about 30 minutes. Uh, he's on earlys, apparently, so he's not there. He's on earlys again tomorrow, so he'll be there from about 8 o'clock onwards. He left at about half past three, so I've literally missed him by about 20 or 30 minutes. Let's try something else. Undeterred and unwashed, I decided to stake out John over the next couple of nights. I mean, for me, to be honest, this is all part of it. This is what it's all about. I'm on a stakeout. How good is this? It's like an episode of uh, Chips. Remember Chips? Only they had like motorbikes. Well, I'm, in a, I'm in a people carrier. <laughs> I'm in a Renault Spass. After two nights of sitting on my ass, my emeralds were killing me, and it was time to call it quits. Besides, I'd clearly scared John off, and there were still two other people I wanted to get. With only a couple of days left, I'd only Lee and Urkan lined up for the gig. Olford had gone into hiding, and there was no sign of Maluka's film. My mission was going down the pan. Finally, I've got a lead. The Thorough Gazette have done a feature on Alison Bettles. There she is, looking lovely. She's just had another kid. I think that's a dozen now. It's like the Waltons. And they mentioned in the feature that she uh, likes to shop at the Lakeside Thorax Shopping Centre. She's a sitting duck for JLC. Come on. Alison Bettles played Faye Lucas in Grange Hill from 1982 to 1987. She thinks I'm getting away with a ball like that. She's gonna have a flipping thing coming. She was the sensible looking one who dreamt of being a PE teacher. Yeah, well. But in her last year, she shocked us all when she fell for maths tutor, Mr. King. I'll pick you up here. Five o'clock, Saturday. Back at Lakeside, we've got no time to stake the place out. We're just praying that we'll get lucky. Trouble is, all these Essex birds look alike. Alison? Alison? I'm on the lookout for Alison Bettles. Do you, remember, do you used to watch Green Hill? No, she played no. Faye Lucas. Oh, yeah, I she, know her. She She's always over here. Is the she? Long girl. Hang on a minute. Is that Bettles? Is that Bettles? Is that Bettles in the car? Hello, sweet. How are you doing? I'm fine. You're not, uh, you think you're being Green Hill, did you? No. Yeah, no. come on. Not at all. <laughs> I think we got her. Oh. Oh, Alison Bettles, no. aka Fay Lucas Green Deal. No. Hang on a minute, I haven't just like interrupted some kind of drugs deal, have I? <laughs> right, I'm here at the Lakeside Shopping Centre in Essex. This is Essex, isn't it, Rob? Yep. Yeah. Never been here before. I'll probably never come here again. I'm here for one reason, one reason only. Alison Bettles, aka Fay Lucas from Grange Hill, shops here regular. We're told that she's going to be shopping here today. She should be in there now. So let's go in, try and find her. Yeah, and see if she's up for the. Uh, just say no reunion. She'll probably be pushing like a, a quadruple buggy because I think that she's got a lot of kids now. I mean, a lot of kids. She could be absolutely anywhere. Just <laughs> 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 Did you buy the record? No. Uh, just say no to record. Do you say no? 
I think you do say no. This is, we're on about, how many levels have we got in this place, Rob? There's about, there's about three levels. Each level's massive, so just take a look around. She's down there, I've just seen her down there with a, a pink tank top, I promise you it's battles. I've just seen her down there it, 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 on the ground floor. In a, in a, you can't see her now, she's just wants a, she's wearing a pink tank top. Gonna, I'm serious, I've just seen her, I'm serious. Oh, I feel like this, uh, I feel like that Donald McIntyre, it's like McIntyre uncovered. Only I'm a bit more sort of hard edged. She could see us as soon as we come out of the lift, as soon as we come out of the lift, she could spot us. Right, come on guys. It's a bit like that scene at the end of uh, In the Line of Fire, that Clint Eastwood film. Remember, that, remember that, that Clint Eastwood film, In the Line of Fire? Aim high, aim high. She's definitely here, I saw her. She's about to come out of the lift. Right, come on, let's go again. Come on. Yeah, which floor? Coming out of the lift. She's coming out of the lift now, see? Here we go, here we go. All right. Alison? Alison Bettles? It's a real Hi. pleasure to meet you. And you. Alison Bettles, a.k.a. Faye Lucas, Green Shield, circa 1986. I'm talking Just Say No. That's right, yeah. Alison, my name is Justin. Hello. I'm from Channel 4. This is what I want to do. Would you be prepared to reunite with your fellow Green Shield cast members, 1986, and give a one-off performance for the fans of which I am one? Right. Of the classic number five hit, oh. Just <laughs> Say No. Come on, Bettles. I don't know Would you do that. it for me? <laughs> Would you do it for JLC? Would you be prepared at least to reunite with your fellow cast members? Oh, yeah, definitely. You'd definitely be prepared to do that? Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Right, can we seal the deal? I like this one thing I'd like you to do for me. I have got your picture in the 1986 oh official Grange Hill Annual. Right. Would you sign it for me, Alison? Yeah, sure. Just say no. Oh, that is brilliant. Thank you so much. You. How about that? Can we have a cuddle? Go on in. Come on. I love it. <laughs> when you look back on that period, if you could just take one moment mm. from those six glorious years, what would it be? What would be the, the one thing that kind of just underlines the whole experience for you? Um, it probably would be the Just Say No campaign. Rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> Because you played a big part in that song as well. It's so embarrassing, you know, there I am with my headphones on. I thought I was a real singer and I used to do that. It's <laughs> pretty embarrassing there when you look back. Just say no. What do you remember most about it, that one particular time? Um, it's got to be going to the White House, really. I'm late. Thanks for spending the time with us. I'm happy to. Yeah. Right, now this is the what this I find this more mm. interested than anything else. You actually got to go to the White House yeah. in the United States of America yeah. to meet the Reagans. That's right. Now tell me, what was that all about? I think they must have just been, I think she might have been the patron, patron saint of something, of, yeah. of the drugs campaign. Patron saint of the H. Yeah. Was that her son in? Yeah, I don't know, so, I'm sure she was, it was a long time ago. Patron saint of smack. Yeah. Now I remember there were a few suggestions by some of your fellow cast members that there may be worse, a little bit of naughtiness on that trip. Yeah. Were you aware of any, do you know the, the stories I'm talking about? No. You weren't aware of any of this naughtiness going on? No. Uh, come on. No, I didn't come know on, any of it. I told you I was a good girl. <laughs> I don't doubt, <laughs> I don't doubt that for a minute. I'm sure you were. But boys will be boys. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Yeah, I'm sure they will, but. Boys will definitely be boys. They will. I know nothing about anything. <laughs> The final stage of the American tour saw the Grange Hill Gang do several live performances across the US. One of the highlights was Prospect Park in the heart of Brooklyn. We sung in, 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 the, in the park in New York. We were singing in big venues and doing the movements and the just say no. Prospect Park was, I think, what you call a photo opportunity. And they bust in a lot of local kids who had never heard of Grain Show. And we sang our song to a lot of raspberries. <laughs> the culmination of the tour was an invite to sing before a baseball game at Yankee Stadium. 
It was brilliant. We were just singing the Just Say No um, song in the middle of the stadium and all the crowd, you know, that was watching the Yankees game was singing along with us. Mm -hmm. So how many people did you sing in front of? Oh, I don't know. Thousands. Well, it could have been like, what, 50? So 50, 60, 70, maybe 80, maybe 90, 100,000, maybe 150,000 people you yeah, I sang in front of <laughs> Yeah, a lot, a lot of people. Yeah. And we was on a massive big screen big screen brilliant. and we was um we were singing on that as well which was, was unbelievable it was brilliant it was, so as we're singing we could see it you got the it was just mad 15. my excitement of getting alison on board becomes epic when maluka's tape arrives could this contain the answers i've been looking for one of the things i remember the most is um the pitcher's mound at uh, yankee stadium doing that pledge. <laughs> it was an anti-drugs thing, but nobody really asked us kind of what our whole attitude to drugs was, what our take was on the whole issues or anything. There were a lot of times when I thought to myself, wow, if people could see what was going on behind the scenes, it'd be crazy. The evening when we went to Yankee Stadium, the night that we went there, I, and I think a few other people, thought it was going to be kind of like an evening off, a relaxation thing. And uh, so, inevitably, we kind of relaxed. And uh, when, when we got to the stadium, we had to go on the pitch, by the pitcher's mound, and do this pledge. Yeah, I'd like to read a pledge. I know who I am. To never take drugs or think about drugs or have any bad thoughts ever about anything. And the camera was like right up in our face. We, we were on the big sort of uh, the diamond screen. It's like probably one of the, my most ever paranoid feelings, one of my, the most paranoid moments I've ever had, just being in front of like 40,000 people thinking, my God, I hope they can't see my eyes that well. Gordon Bennett, I was right. Maluka's fessed up to skinning up on the US tour. This is great stuff, but it makes no difference to me. It doesn't help my cause. I've still only got a few days left to bring back Grange Hill. With 24 hours to go before the gig at the Palais, there's just one more character that I want to get, Ziggy Greaves. We've heard that he's on his way down to London, so we're gonna set a trap. <laughs> right, I'm here at Waterloo Station because Ziggy Greaves, AKA George Christopher, is on the train down from Liverpool. He's due in here at about 11.45. Got no idea, of course, that we're gonna be here. We're going to be lying in wait, ready to uh, jump him. <laughs> Not in a physical sense. She's here, quick, quick, when the window any minutes. Ziggy was the cheeky scouser who was always getting into trouble with little Robbie Wright. Good devil, hey. What is it? Oh, Ziggy. I might have known it. In fact, he did little else. Sorry, miss. <laughs> George Christopher is still a jobbing actor, but currently works in advertising for a taxi firm in Liverpool. He's here to discuss a new role. He can only come out one way, I take it. There's only like one way in or out. I can see Ziggy Greaves. Do we go now? Are we going now? He's, yeah, he's wearing a blue light, blue sock hat. Are we going? Are we gonna hit Ziggy Greaves? All right, let's go. let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, come on. All right, here we go. You're George Christopher. Hello, mate. It is an absolute pleasure to meet you, sir. Formerly uh, Ziggy Greaves <laughs> yeah, yeah. from Grange Hill. <laughs> pleasure to meet you. My name is Justin. Hello, mate. I'm doing a show for Channel 4 about the cast of Grange Hill from the year 1986. I thought you were fucking Roger Cooper or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm a lot slimmer these days. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm making this show. I want to reunite the cast of Grange Hill from 1986 mm -hmm. for a one-off performance of Just Say No. <laughs> Just a one-off for all time's sake. <laughs> Would you be up for doing it? Would you consider nah. it? Nah, come on, mate. You joke me, aren't you? Would you be up for at least sitting down with me and having a chat? We can have a talk about it. We'll go somewhere we're comfortable. We'll sit, maybe we'll have a latte. I'm quite cultured. We'll sit, we'll have a coffee and talk nice, about it. A nice pint of lager, Lumi, son. A nice pint of lager. Anything you want, George Christopher. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, Thanks, George. Great. 
Coming up, will Ziggy or any of the other cast members turn up for the gig? I can see a car. Is that a car pulling over now? Is that pulling over? Just one really is all we need. And even if they do, this lot could eat them alive. <laughs>